Welcome to the Jesse and Angela Love, Love Show. Show. Well, hello everyone. I'm glad to have you come about to see our video. And we are here to be able to give this message that the Lord Jesus Christ has placed in not only my heart, but Jesse's heart as well. So we're just going to turn this message over to Jesse so that he can give you this powerful, powerful message that's going to be very, very enlightening in, in your life. And hopefully that you will be able to share this message to others as well. Thank you. The title of the message is Using the Gifted. And then that title will be added as we go and where you can see what is really going on and why I use the title of using the gifted. Some people probably would say employing the gifted or employing the anointed or using the anointed ones. But the title I use is using the gifted. And if we look at history, especially our history in our country, we notice that a lot of people use because of their gift to draw people to attention to whatever they're trying to sell, products, or whatever things that they're trying to do. They use the gifted to get the public to view whatever they're trying to sell, use, or have you to do, rather to be good or bad. So it's called using the gifted. And some gifts are just natural, and some are spiritual, yes. yes. And we know that in our country, in other countries, in your countries, your country, people are used to do things. And like I said, they're good or bad. They are used to do it because they have that gift of attracting people, drawing people, persuading people to do, to do things. Or they have that power to do it and get it done and that's the many groups that we are talking about um, and one mainly we'll get to as in the book of I'll give you an example in the book of Numbers the 27 or the 22nd chapter of Numbers now you can read the book of Numbers yourself there's a lot of history back history on that as well but I will also cover a lot of stuff that Numbers is talking about. And this one particular um, person, his name was Balaam. He's familiar. A lot of prophets and people uh, in the Bible speak about him many times when they're delivering a message to the people of God. Balaam during that time on the 22nd chapter, he was told, he was asked by um, the king of Moab, which is Balak, to curse the children of Israel or the people of Israel. They usually call them that children. You'll hear that a lot from the Bible, the children, which mean in some, in some cases just immature adult people uh, of the Lord. Anyway, um, so he wanted to curse them, but they were blessed. And let's go to, through the story where it first came about. Well, Balaam was um, asked by the prince, princess to come and speak with Balak, the king of Moab. What's the problem with Balak, the king? What is his problem? If you go back in the chapters, you'll see that Balak had a problem with the children of Israel. One time he said he was there licking up all the places. Literally used the word licking. <laughs> Not only he was wise, think about uh, the king of Moab, Balak. I thought about it. I looked at the king. I said, the king been studying these people all this time. And he had fear of the people because they were greater than them. And the Lord was in, had their hand or had his hand upon them. The power of the Lord was on them. Mm -hmm. And wherever they went, 
they had victory over their enemies. And so the king Moab knew that the Lord had his hand upon the children of Israel using the gifted. And Balaam, they wanted to, he wanted to use Balaam to curse the people of God, the Israelites. And he kept pressing, or pressing Balaam to, to, um, to come and speak with him. He used different prints, some of higher rank, and kept on. You notice he go a little higher and higher to try to get Balaam to come to him. Balaam the king, Balak the king wanted Balaam so he could speak to him so that he can curse them, so he can be able to fight against them and win against them. That was what it was. He was did not want those people nowhere around them. He was afraid of them because the hand of the Lord was on them. Using the gift that you see it all the time, even on shows and everything, even on so-called religious shows, they'll take when they want something from the people, not to do basically the Lord's work. It just look like they're doing the Lord's work. Right. And, and, and when I think about this, I think about when he said the enemy came to steal. Well, how you steal anybody? When according to the Bible, you know, you go to the store and take stuff. But that in this instance, the word steal is talking about how they can be able to do something without you seeing them, avoid the, the attempt to do whatever they're trying to do. You won't be able to disguise what they're doing. That's how you do sheep or whatever. You, you put a, a disguise and try to look like the, uh, the real shepherd and everything. So he came to steal. Usually when that term is used and then he came to kill, you figure, well, he came to steal, then he killed. I thought destroy and kill mean the same thing. Yeah. No. The kill is like a slaughter. They they take the, the first they find a bait and lure you out. That's what the enemy does. So they'll use the gifted that they see on uh, TV, some of the so-called religious or Christian celebrities, and they'll use them to do their dirty work. That's why I call it using the gifted. And the rest of that is to do your dirty work. Hmm. So Moab, the king, Balak, excuse me, Moab is the place, Balak is the king, so I don't want to confuse you, but I'm thinking about him, you know, he is a Moabite, and he was using the gifted, which is Balaam, to do his dirty work. That's what it is, using the gifted. And like I said, that many times that you see on TV, television, on videos and everything else, and other places, they'll use a gifted person that's doing right, sometimes. <laughs> in this case, you have to look at Balaam. Balaam was off, he, he was in either or. If it was for money, he, he's gonna do whatever he can do if he could do it. But if he couldn't do it, then he'll let the he was letting the king know that I couldn't do this. So uh, he kept pressing Balaam. Balak did, the king. Got to keep the king and the Balak in, together. Mm -hmm. We kept pressing him so that he can use him to do his dirty work. Remember, the man is gifted. The man can do it. The man, man would have, he used to do enchantments too. In this case, he wasn't able to do that. So let's go through what homeboy did. The Lord told him to go, but he said first he wanted him to tell him what, give him instructions. So he finally... Uh, went and the Lord was kittled, angry and kittled of him of what happened. Use, remember that angry and kittled because it's going further along. You're going to find out uh, it's going to be used again. And this is not by the Lord. So he went up and he, he went with the princess to um, Balak, the king. Mm -hmm. And he got on his ass they use that word ass meaning donkey or whatever. Wow, donkey is a female ass. Uh, tell your family members that your children are. Explain that to them. And it's not the same word 
Same word as a street word. It's simply what it is. It's called an ass. It's an animal. It's a female animal. So make sure you cover that and don't beat them with them because they use the word. Of course, they need to be scold if they're using it in the wrong way. Right. So, uh, you know, some people that are so holy, they don't even use that word like that now. Yeah, no. And and they, they're they not holy in the Lord. But anyway, so the so he got a, upon his animal and he took two of his servants with him, headed towards um, Moab to talk with the king of Moab, which is Balak. Mm -hmm. So he was headed that way. And like I said, the Lord was killed with him. The angel of the Lord came and stood in his way. He didn't even see it. When you're going to do something that you have no business doing and the Lord didn't call you to do it. And we're still using using the gifted to do your dirty work. Using the gifted. You can't see danger. All you see is that money. Because what it is, they'll come up with something in secret place, and we're going to cover that too. That, that word secret is going to be a whole title for that. Mm -hmm. And before they get to the people of God, they already got game plan what they're going to do. So they're using the gifted, using the gifted to get them all excited and everything. And then they say, look, we're going to get, we're going to get this amount of money off of all these people. We know the average that this person can do is, is to get about 20 to 30 40,000 people in one stadium and we can get that money we'll first let him do or she do whatever he's, she's supposed to be doing and then we'll call for offering. That's what you call using the gifted to do your dirty work mm -hmm. and all most of that money will not be going to uh, the Lord's work. It'd be going in some of the people's pocket it's called using the gifted they had one gentleman they had several people and women too that are have been uh, have used to gift it to give what they wanted. They had people that this gentleman he had over twenty five thousand members, and he used to do whatever he had. He had a gift, and the enemy will use you, destroy the people of God or those that want to be the people of God. You imagine how many people that picked up his spirit which was not of the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You can imagine how many of uh, the gifted that went on these special TV shows where they didn't know the man was um, having sex with the same sex. Mm -hmm. And this was, oh, and he wasn't, uh, it, it, you, I'm not talking about a certain person. There were several people of all color and race that were having sex with the same sex. And he used to, he had a big TV station and, uh, oh, Lord, I, I want to rush and tell you about the rest, but I can't. But so um, he was using those people to draw money so that he can do his thing as well. Somehow he got away from uh, the IRS and all of them some kind of way. The other cat, he um, was doing wrong for many years anyway. And he used the gifted. He was gifted and also the enemy used you destroy all these people mm -hmm. all these people on, on on this other station he took he had so many people that so, called themselves Christians had went on that show because they wanted to be on television so they can so they can be seen mm -hmm. basically and he used them and then when it comes to offerings or calling for money then they'll draw that money in there mm -hmm. So um, it's called, the title is Using the Gift. So here is uh, Balaam, head his way to uh, talk with Balak, the king in Moab. So the angel, the first step, the first the, the same angel stood in his way the first time. Stood in the way, okay. He didn't see that. See, when you're doing sin, you can't see things like that. So, but his ass did see that. He said, oh my God, it's an angel in front of me. The Lord let him recognize that it was the angel from of the Lord. Sometimes animals can see things that you can't see. That is true. That's yeah, honest that's truth. True. They may see the spirit of the Lord in you, and that's why they're looking at something else besides you. 
uh, or they can see the angels uh, around you and protecting you as well. So this and animal, death angels too. This animal um, saw this angel of the Lord with his sword poured out and ready to strike. Because the Lord was what? Angry and he was killed of what Balaam had went because he said he went. You got to go with instructions from the Lord. Just don't get up and go. Anyway, <clears throat> So that was the first instance. So the, the uh, ass turned to the side and went to the vineyard, or we call it, some people call it um, the, the vine or whatever, vineyard, but it's basically yeah, it's the yeah. vineyard. So he went to the vineyard. He went towards the vineyard to avoid the sword. Not only was he protecting himself, but he was protecting his owner. But the owner couldn't see it because he was in sin. Using the gifted, that's what I'm talking about. Using the gifted to do your dirty work. And the gifted have to be careful because the Lord will take you out. You have to be careful. Or he will expose the one that is using you. Mm -hmm. So he, so the, the um, ass, you got to include her in there too. She's a she ass. You got to include this donkey, wild donkey, she ass in here too because she's... Um, Avoiding the uh, the Lord keep from getting him hurt or herself. So she she moves out the way. She you know, she normally doesn't do this. We're gonna get to that. So she turns again. So so the Lord catch her in between two walls. <laughs> and so he narrowing the angel of the Lord is narrowing this thing down. So you went in the field. So now I'm gonna get you right between here. I'm going to be right here. Either you're going to the left or the right. So what the the young ass did, he, she did, she moved away from the, the sword or the angel of the Lord and smashed the uh, Balaam's foot. In other words, the Bible said crushed it against the wall. And Balaam, first, first of all, the first time Balaam uh, hit her, smoked her. The second time she did, he did it again. And then the third one, he narrowed it down a little bit more. So he got away from that. So the it, you couldn't, even, they couldn't go to the left or the right. So when the ass seen that the angel of the Lord stood where he couldn't go, she couldn't go either way. She buckled under. So you can imagine what happened to Balaam. He fell off his uh, the animal. Mm -hmm. Balaam hit him with hit her with the staff. And he told her that, you know, if I had a sword, I would kill you, in other words. Yeah, that's in the Bible. So um, that's when the ass began to talk to Balaam. Think about it. First of all, the ass, the she ass is about to talk to Balaam. Who taught the she ass the language? How did it make the mouth be able to speak that language properly and and respond to uh, Balaam? So the ass told her him, and I want to say it right from the Bible. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am I not thy ass? I can say it in a, another in the the English we talk today. Am not I your ass or your donkey, wild donkey, upon which thy have written me or upon which you have written me ever since? I was not unto, I was unto this this day. It speaks funny. Anyway, I'm trying to make sure you get, you get it. You'll get it. Was I want w-o-n-t not like, like one in contraction but want we'll cover that to do so unto thee so what she said is was i inhabit to do so unto thee in other words all that you seen her do those three times and she got hit for it she never done that to him balaam before the ass was trying to save her life and balaam's life so 
Balaam had to confess that, no, you never done that before. Wherever the Balaam had guided the ass to do, which way to go, pull this way or that way, you know how the animal, how you ride a horse or whatever, she did it. She never had, he never had any problems with her. Mm-hmm. So, the Bible said that's when he his eyes opened. And he saw the angel of the Lord. And the Bible said that he fell down to his face, fell down. Mm-hmm. And the Lord told him, because he said, because the ass basically, Balaam was mad because she had monked mocked him well think about what the Lord was killed against him too so Balaam was the killer killed against the ass because of um, the way that she was going in the wrong direction guess what he was doing going headed in the wrong direction without instructions Mm -hmm. and without instructions of the Lord using the gifted. Moab used the gifted. He didn't care about Balaam being um, about to get killed. He, in fact, he didn't even know. All he wanted Balaam to do is curse them. Why does Balak, a brilliant king like that, figure out the king of uh, the children of Israel like that and knew, picked up must have had the history of it, that the Lord was, as long as the Lord was with them, they were winning all their battles. He knew that. So he said, he said, think about it. He was thinking about how I was going to get them, destroy them. I can't do it now because apparently he believes in the God that they serve. I can't do it now because the Lord has blessed them. What he was doing is trying to get Balaam to curse the people of God, the Israelites, for the love of money. Balaam said, I can't do it if you gave me everything. I have to do what the Lord can. I can't go do enchantments this time. Because in one part, they called him a soothsayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could have been doing a lot of enchantments and stuff like that. He couldn't do it then. The Lord used him. He wasn't an Israelite either, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the Lord used him to say, tell Balaam. So Balaam, Balak, Balak, the Lord used him to talk to Balak, the king. So the Lord used him. But look what Balak, a determined king, determined to destroy the people of God, Israelites. He said, let me take, set up some uh, off, uh, altars, seven altars. And he took him to one place and he set it up. And the Lord still spoke to him about blessing the people of God. Using the gifted. Couldn't use this gifted. He tried to at this moment anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, Using the gifted to do the dirty work. Remember that. Because a lot of people use you singers and preachers and uh, people of God to do their dirty work. And then you'll be like, oh my God. This dude is that. This dude does this. How I'm gonna fit, how I'm gonna clean up all of this stuff mm-hmm. that I was doing, and I was on his show, and I was doing this for him, and I said he was this or she was that, and now it has found out that this person is dirty, this person sin, this person is um, uh, having sex with the same sex, this person died of AIDS, this patient person have uh, caused twenty five or thirty thousand or. 300,000, God, this one show, to go astray. How them cover this up? A lot of them try to cover that stuff up. You can tell on in the end, you find out they try to cover it up, but they only have no connection with them again. Well, you should have known that in the beginning. Right. But if you did it for the love of money, you was going to get a certain offering off of that 30 or 40 or $100,000 or whatever, then you, you did it for the wrong reasons. And the Lord will come after you too as well, because that's called using the gifted, but you allow uh, that person or those people to use you, and you knew they were wrong. Mm-hmm. Using the gifted. So, um, he had to tell the king I couldn't do it. 
And he kept taking him up to higher levels. And he took him third time up a, another level. So that it sounds like something that may happen to some of the Christians, like myself, you, and other people that's mm -hmm. out there are celebrities. There are a holy celeb uh, people. You could, you can't be, you can't help because you're a celebrity. Jesus was a celebrity. He was well known because he was doing the right thing. You got people that's not well known that's doing the wrong things, and they've been used to do the wrong things because they have a gift. Mm -hmm. And then your other hand, you got the other one that's doing the right. The other ones that are doing the right thing. Eventually, if you stay with Jesus and do the right things. You don't have to worry about your soul being taken. Because though he said, don't worry about who can take the body, but who can take the body in the soul. So that's who you should be concerned about. So it, the thing is, do not let people use you to do their dirty work. Using the gifted to do the dirty work. Ask the Lord to pick that up before you get there. Because the Lord always give you uh, provisions and money and places to go where you can be used the proper way to do the Lord's will instead of their will. I know that some of you preachers that was evangelists and went all over the place and they collected those offerings and they didn't give you a dime. That's called using the gifted to get what they want, to go to their consignments, to to uh, support their girlfriends, their boyfriend, the same sex or whatever. That's using the gifted. And also he he what he was trying to do is use them so he can kill those people, not just... Uh, make him curse. He wanted to use him so he can open up, be able to use his army to destroy him. He knew as long as the hand of the Lord was over them, he couldn't do nothing with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's called using the gifted. Don't let nobody use you. Be patient. You have to be patient in this ministry. What are you trying to do anyway? Our whole objective is saving souls. Mm -hmm. From family members on down to people that we do not know. That's the whole objective in that. So it's not going to be so easy to use us because the, the way that I, I'm, we're going, we're going to do it Jesus way where we don't have to, nobody's calling us to do anything. We're already doing our thing. And so when you do your thing and when, when we get together, no, no, it ain't going to work like that. We already know what you've been doing. So that's not going to work. So he stuck up. She stuck up. No, no, it's not that. We already see what you've been doing. The Lord already told me what you've been doing. So when it does, when you do come to me for certain things, I am going to say no. For sure, we are uh, for sure are going to agree on the saying no, because we already know what you all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. We're good in what we're doing right now, trying to save souls. I'm fine with that. I'm content. We're content with that. So it's called using the gifted. So in the end of all of that, if you look in the Bible, because it also let me just cover what they talked about him uh, many times in the Bible. One of the prophets calling. Woe unto them. This is in Jude, the 11th chapter. For they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the era of Balaam mm -hmm. for reward mm -hmm. and perished. See, this is what I'm trying to say. Using the gifted. Be careful the gifted people. Even you either gifted in the singing or whatever, or you might be anointed and gifted. And singing or preaching or whatever. They'll use you to get what they want. And not even try to support the church. So they can cause other people to say. They support their own pocketbook. So they can do their rotten things. And sinful things in the world. Using the gifted. So these prophets and people talked about him. They call one prophet. Call him a soothsayer. Yeah. And that's what he was. And one prophet said, one Bible, the Bible said, in one part it said, in which have forsaken the righteous and um, gone astray, following the uh, way of Balaam, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. Using the gifted. And I've seen some of you. Some of you all are gifted. Some of you are, are anointed. But they'll use you. And some of you don't have any anointing. But they're using you because you have an art of persuasion. You, are, What happened is that the enemy will use you to pull people away. To use you for a bait. Mm -hmm. It's called the word lure away in one part of uh, the Bible. To lure away. To use you as a bait. 
to pull people away. Once you pull them away like you do the sheep away from the uh, manifold or away from the, the, uh, that door, get them out of there, then you take them to slaughter them. Then eventually you destroy them. You offer them up first. The kill is to offer them up to an offering to some fake God. You know what I mean? All of that. So the Bible talks about um, the uh, Balaam all through the Bible. What was the end of Balaam, Balaam's faith? The Israelites in the book of Joshua killed Balaam. Mm -hmm. He finally got killed by, by, you know, he finally got killed. Israelites killed Balaam. Look it up in Ju uh, Joshua. They killed him eventually because he couldn't stop doing what he was doing. So using the gifted, the Lord will destroy you too if you allow people to use you. He'll destroy your ministry because he you know you're not doing uh, the Lord's his will anyway. Look at that one ministry. Gone. 25 people don't know where they're going now. Some of you have picked up some of the spirits that he had or she had during that time. Some of you pick up the same sex spirit that other person had. That You went on that show. You didn't know that he was like that. You didn't even pick up any kind of spirit. You just wanted to be on the show. And now you have that spirit and it's hard to shake now, right? Mm -hmm. Don't let people use you. Don't let people use you. Tell them no. When You, you got to study these people. People will use you. Unless the Lord tell you to go there, you do what the Lord tell you to do. If you do go there, he had to keep on telling him that I can't curse someone that's have been blessed. If it's been blessed, I can't curse a blessed person. How many ways you want me to tell you? I had a preacher that tried to curse me. I said, how are you going to curse me and the Lord has blessed me? I wasn't even worried about it, even though he had some titles. Look at um, Issacariot. He was a bishop. Using the gifted. They used him. What was his faith? He committed suicide because it was upon his mind what he had done to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Using the gifted. Saul, using the gifted. Mm -hmm. Use Saul. Saul, what are you doing? Didn't the, didn't the Lord tell you to kill everything? Everything I hear, animals, I hear all of this stuff. Did you get the king? He didn't have to kill him. Samuel went and killed him and was looking at white after his wife because guess what? She was pregnant. And guess what had happened to that? They grew up, a baby grew. She had a baby. That seed came out, hated the Jews and was going to destroy them. Thank God for Esther. Because mm -hmm. the people of God was going to be destroyed. Using the gifted. Mm -hmm. Saul even used the gifted, but that was a witch mm -hmm. to do his dirty work. Mm -hmm. Using the gifted. So, warning do not allow these people to use you for uh, to be a celebrity, to be exposed. Because in the end, you're going to be embarrassed. In the end, it might cut you, get, you might get cut off. In other words, you might die, you might get cancer, you might get this, you know, and you might pick up all those other spirits that's in there because they're not born again. Mm -hmm. Using the gifted. So that was the title of the message, and I, I hope and pray that the Lord has touched your heart to understand the message that I'm trying to get to you, that the Lord, I believe, used me, used us to uh, deliver to you. I do all the time believe that the Lord used us to deliver the message to you. And we hope and pray by faith that in the future, as long as we have breath in our body, that we'll be able to do, deliver other messages to you. And I want you to feel comfortable like you at home. That's the reason why, you know, we dress a certain way so that we want you to feel comfortable. You don't have to be in a tie to listen to us. You don't have to have a certain thing on to listen to us. Just make sure you listen to us. I don't even want to go there. I thought of something. I said, oh my God, no. Because people take it the wrong way. Using the gifted. 
That was the title of the message. You can go into the book um, Numbers, cover the whole parts of Numbers, and you'll see where I'm, I, I'm headed. I was headed towards, and I ended that. But you'll see, uh, go through the Bible from Genesis. I mean, from um, yep, it's gonna cover Cain and everybody else, included all of them in there. It's gonna cover a lot. Uh, it's gonna talk about Balaam, Balaam a lot. How Moab. Uh, Balak had used Balaam. We had to make sure we get the words right because I don't want to confuse you. Balak was the king and Balaam was the uh, soothsayer. A lot of people call him a prophet. Well, he was a prophet at the moment because he also told what the Lord had said to them for, yeah, you can say that, but also he was in, he was divin dab into enchantments and stuff like that as well. That's in the Bible. So using the gift, don't let nobody use you. You know what I mean? Because it can, you can lose your soul like that. And you can cause other people to lose their souls. And lose faith in the Lord. The Bible said trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not in man, but trust in the Lord. Using the gifted to get money. To get rewards. Don't be so greedy to get rewards and allow somebody to use you. In other words, too, like Balaam was. They said that. Because it almost got him killed the first time. So I guess he didn't get the warning later on. He did die on the hands of the Israelites. So, using the gifted. We thank the Lord for you all that are have been listening to this message or will be listening to this message. And many other messages that we have, videos that we have on YouTube. And, and some on Ustream. Amen. Well, I'm glad that you're able to listen to this message and be enlightened in your life of what is being said. And you don't want to be used um, by anyone. Our gift is from the Lord. Some Now, some of your gifts can be from the devil, too, if you worship him and you allow him to use you to do his dirty work. But the Lord has given us the gift, and we want to use that gift that he's given us to save souls, even to help heal people as well. So please, please, just be diligent on what you do and how you do it, and don't be used by others. Um, there are people who will do anything they can to try to sacrifice your gift to do their dirty work. So we're glorifying Jesus for all that he has done, allowing us to be here and to give you this message. And we're going to give glory all to Jesus and we just want to thank him and you and everyone else that you in contact with give them encouraging words about Jesus stay tuned um, make sure you uh, go view the other message sometimes the video will go into the other t uh, messages right after this message or whatever also keep in mind that she'll the Lord uses her as well you know it's not only me only it right. just you know I just happen and to be the one to be speaking this time but it could be her at any time as well amen, amen. Uh, so just keep that in mind it's not a one-sided thing here no. uh we are in the ministry together and sometimes you might see me alone but i don't like to be but i am what i have to be amen. and i will and we, we we should be having a lot of more messages for you some really good ones amen and one of the messages that I wanted to mention is one that's going to be titled Secrets. So mm. you'll see what that is. Hopefully, by the grace of the Lord, we'll be able to deliver that message. Amen. Well, stay tuned. Stay Love tuned. 24-7, <laughs> watch 24 -7. it. 24-7 on YouTube right. as well as Ustream. And you all that are fighting and uh, you all are, are underground Christians uh, all over the world. Keep on being Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, don't give up. Use these videos so that you can help your ministry to grow and everything else in the hands and in the arms of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And also we need to pray for um, not only um, our Christian ministry, um, Christians here, our brothers and sisters who are going through a, the, a lot of storms and everything like that. But yeah. uh, everything has happened for a reason. Um, we have to look at the, the set. Look at the what is going on. The, the Lord is trying to wake up people who are dead in their spirit and giving them the opportunity to come to him before it's too late. 
So it's not just our country, but all over the world. All of us need to pray for our brothers and sisters who are in arms with the Lord Jesus. And so that we can be able to um, ask the Lord for protection um, for what we're doing. Because the enemy is out and about to roll to roam, to kill, steal, and destroy our ministry. And, and we don't want that. So that's why we ask the Lord for protection. And he has been giving us that. And we're grateful for that. So we just have to stay in his grace, in Jesus' grace. And so that we can continue on with the message. But we want to thank you and we love you. And continue to look at our ministry um, on YouTube as well as your stream. Great. God bless you. God bless you.